Today, I'm presenting you a wholesome healthcare application that helps you manage varied verticals of healthcare. So without any delay, let's get started. Towards the left, we have the entire admin panel and towards the right, we have our application. Every activity conducted by the customer doctor can easily be managed by you in this admin panel. So let us now explore each and every section, starting with the dashboard. The dashboard gives you a plethora of functionalities. Here you can have a clear display of the total customers along with the total doctors. Apart from that, you will get a graphical representation according to the week and month showing the records of the doctors as well as the users. Besides this, you will get a proper display of the activities availed by the customers according to the specialty and the total number of consultants as well. Furthermore, the dashboard will also give you the details of the top doctors and the specialities that they have dealt with and the total hours they have spent in the consultation. Similar data will be also present for the users as well. Next up we have the Manage Customer section and from here you can easily manage all your customers all together. Now whenever a new customer registers himself, you will get all the details portrayed here. Sounds intriguing right? So here is our application and let us explore how this works. The customer will firstly sign up, fill in the details like the name, the age, the email address, the phone number, add the description for the consultation that he wants, add a password, confirm the password and now we are good to go. Now we will get a OTP. Next, we'll verify this and here we have the application. Now, as we have added, here we get all the details portrayed here. See, this is this simple. And here you have the customer's details easily visible to you. Now, whenever this customer takes any consultation or avails any service from your application, you will have the authority to have a clear view on the booking history, on the reports, you can also export the CSV file on your convenience. On top of that, you can search for your desired customer manually. However, there are various other activities or various other managements that you can carry through this admin panel. Now let us explore how you can have a check on the appointments made by the customers. Let's create an appointment now. We will schedule the new appointment. We will choose the category as head. Continue to consult. Now we will see which doctor we want to consult with. Let's go with Gaurav. Let's select a time slot. We will go for this one. Continue. Go to home. And here we go. Our appointment is scheduled. Now here you can have a clear access to the appointment schedule of the said customer. Thereby it is now clear that Whatever a customer does over here gets reflected over here and you get the authority to manage all these things all together. So let us now move to the doctor section. Well, the doctor section is yet another intriguing section as you can manage all the doctors from here. However, there is a complete new application for the doctors. Basically, we have two applications. One is for the customers and the other one is for the doctors. The way we sign in the customer's application previously, similarly we will log into the doctor's application as well. However, when a doctor registers himself, all his details will be portrayed here and you need to accept the doctor. If you not accept the doctor, he will not be able to upgrade the services from the application. So let's begin with the sign up process. The doctor firstly needs to fill in the name the email address, set a password, confirm the password, set the phone number and we are good to go. Now the doctor needs to select the speciality so we'll be going with the head, upload a picture, we can simply take a picture, here we go. Now we need to upload a profile picture. We'll simply be selecting a random picture because we are just setting up. Continue. Put the OTP. Go to the dashboard. And now we can see that our profile is created. Let's refresh. Now you can see the doctor that we just added is reflected here. 
Now manually you'll have to accept the doctor. If you do not accept it, then the doctor will not be able to take any consultation or manage anything from the application. And now we have a doctor enrolled in our application and since you accepted the doctor, the doctor is now available to take any consultations or operate via the application. However, the doctor needs to put this toggle button into I am available only then he will be visible in the application or to your customers. The doctor can manage various verticals or various things from the app like he can check in the appointments, the questions, the notification, logout and manage many more verticals. However, you still own the authority to manage everything right from the admin panel. Next comes the category section which basically shows the details that which is the category where a user is availing services from. You have the authority to create a new category and that will be shown on the user's app vividly. So let us now switch into the customer's application. Here as you can see that we have a category named as head and the customer or the user is having clear visibility of the category named as head. You can add new categories and that will be shown on the user's app simultaneously. You can also edit or delete a category if you wish to. Next up we have the notification section. From here you can send notifications to all the users and doctors all together. When you add a notification, you can filter if you want to send to all or to customers or doctors individually. You simply need to fill in the title, type the message, submit and the notification will be portrayed all over. The customers can view the notifications from here while the doctors can view the notifications from here. Now comes the CMS section and from here you can manage the FAQs, the terms and conditions, the privacy policy, the contact support and the topic. You can add new FAQs if you want. You can view, edit or delete an FAQ and whatever changes that you make here will be reflected on the customer's application simultaneously. Now let us see the terms and conditions. For that we'll go to the customer's app again. From here you can see the terms and conditions, whatever we have written here is reflected here. If you change and update, similar changes will be visible here. Same goes for the privacy policy, the contact support and various other verticals as usual. Now comes the appointment section. Here you can manage and view all the appointments simultaneously. However, since we just created this doctor, so there is no data available for the appointments. Although. Since we created a customer before and we scheduled an appointment so we can get the listing from here and we can have a detail of the past appointments as well. And that was all about our healthcare app admin panel and the customer panel as well as the doctor app. As you can see it was extremely simple to use. So if you are planning to launch your own healthcare platform, I recommend you to click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business. You can also email us the details or DM us on our social media accounts. Thank you.